Hello YouTube, thank you very much for, for choosing my channel. Today's YouTube video, I am planning to talk about my top five tips on if you guys are planning to go to the Indiana State Fair this year at the Indiana State Fairgrounds. So I hope you guys are ready for this video because I am. Let's get this video started. If you, if you guys would like to see more content on this, please make sure to hit that subscribe button, ding that notification bell, and other travel-related content, and let's get this video started. So the first thing that I would like to tell you guys is that, is that with this video, I made all, um, I thought this through, and, and I'm talking about my top five tips on, like, food, entertainment, parking, and, and people that, that needs help with special needs and stuff, or, or if you guys want a place to cool down, because just to be aware that it will get hot if you ever go down there to the Indiana State Fair, just to give you guys a heads up. So, so the first tip I have to say is dress warm. Make sure you guys pack your drinks. Make sure you guys pack enough water for your entire trip home, your entire trip back. And if you guys are planning to go to like, let's just say any uh, coffee places, I would recommend you guys would have like a full big on money, okay? So the full big on money that I'm talking about, it's like number one, make sure everybody has like a little bit over like fifty dollars because because you're gonna want to get food you're gonna want to get snacks you're also probably wanting to get a lemon shake up or something like that you guys also would probably would like to get an arnold palmer or something like that now, just to give you guys a heads up, if you guys even ask for a cup of ice, they will cost you. But luckily or not, there is water fountains that are like continually, that is like all over the place, which I think is really kind of neat. Now, now another thing that, that, that I gotta tell you guys, is make sure you guys wear sunscreen and even a hat. Now, another thing which I would probably recommend, and, and this is the first thing that I recommend if you guys are coming from like a long distance, like if you guys are coming from like like Bloomington or like Bedford or like Columbus or like Spencer, all those areas, I recommend you guys have a protein bar. I recommend you guys have like a coffee or some because it's going to be a long, steady ride. If you guys, let's just say you guys are coming in from like, like one thing you guys were with a big group and a big group is a handicap group. You guys will have to park inside the handicap lot, which luckily or enough, the handicap lot this lot is like a really good lot for anybody that is like part handicap or part anything like that because 
because another good thing about Park near the Indiana State Fair is that another good thing about it, they have a lot of good vendors that um, that are uh, that goes around. You guys can get like 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 what I got, steak and onions. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. That was so good, you guys. Luckily enough, that price was at like a really good price. That price was so good. And I got to tell you guys something. Like, like they probably will not, not give you guys like a mango receipt. But be aware, if you guys go on your phone and you guys go on that website, they will probably let you print off a digital receipt off your, your phone. Luckily enough, I did that a couple times, like whenever I went there to, to the Indiana State Fair last year, like, like another good thing about the Indiana State Fair, it's like if you guys go, they have like a DNR, a DNR place, which I think looks really good. This DNR place has like so, I gotta tell you guys something, it has so much in there. Like, 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 like you guys can check your fishing license. You guys can check like different stuff. You guys can take a hunting class. You guys can check the ingredients in the dirt. You guys can like check anything that you guys would like to. Um, and just to give you guys a heads up on like where this is. Now the 4-H building is like back here. It's in this big building. Now you don't go over there, okay? It's right next to where like all the farm animals are. Like in this big area. So, so where the DNR area is, this is an interesting area. Where the DNR area is, it is right in the middle, like right in the middle of like everything. Like you can go this way to go to, like let's just say the Colonial Building. You can go the other way if you guys would like to go check out like like an auction or like go check out like an old now they even got like an old stained glass area which i think this area looks so very nice in this area it's like so very good okay so um so like also like another thing which i think is really good <clears throat> which I think is really good for, like, entertainment purposes there. They, um, they have this whole entire area, like, like, I mean, this area is, like, super big. It, likes has food, like, down the lot. And I mean it, the food looks so good. And, um, and also, and also another thing, if you guys are ever planning to go out to the Indiana State Fair, this is like another great tip that, that, that if you guys are planning to go out there and you guys don't got like a clear bag, which they kind of do the clear bag challenge, like, like just saying, this bag right here, this bag, since this bag is an IU bag, this bag can probably use about 24.7 of your nautical stuff. Like if you guys go like, 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 like go inside the 
the Indiana State Fairgrounds. And, and there is going to be stuff that goes all around. Like they got this old city there. And I heard about this old city by doing well, internet research about this. This thing is like an old colonial town. Now, now the thing is that they were celebrating their 100th year, okay? So, um, so also, um, so also another great thing, if you guys are, are planning to go out to the, uh, Indiana State Fair, it's like another great food option is that if you guys go out there, you guys can go check out like, like a funnel cake place. And I gotta tell you guys some, their funnel cakes are really good i almost i almost stumbled myself whenever i went out there like 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 um like i know i know what you guys are probably gonna say tommy you guys got to do blah 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 so like uh another thing another thing like another quick reminder if you guys are planning to go out to the Indiana State Fair, it's like if you guys go around to the DNR building, there's like DNR conversation officers, which are put up inside a stand. Like they have a stand that is standing on top of entire real bank which I think is really kind of cool. Now they got water there. They got like, like they even got some, a water cooler, which I think this is really kind of cool too. Now the water cooler they got, which I think is really cool. And this is a third thing. Um, now there is going to be places that is going around like the Ball State region, there's going to be pop, there's going to be different drinks. Now, now some that I recommend, and this is a thing that I probably would, would probably recommend, is that everybody keeps an eye on the time because because I almost, whenever I went out there, I downloaded the Indiana State Fair app on my cell phone, which, which if you guys go out there, I would recommend you guys download that app because if they will have Wi-Fi there, but, but be aware that Wi-Fi might be a little bit slow so just to be aware on that concoction, all right? And also another thing which I think would be really kind of interesting is that if you guys line up in like a co by fictional way, they stamp your ticket just to make sure that you guys are following their rules. Now, where I bought my ticket, I bought my ticket with my organization, which I think is a really good organization. It's called Stone Belt, which I feel really, really, really proud of. Now, also, just to give you guys a little heads up, it's that their radio frequencies they are different stuff they listen to by national contacts. They got like without a trace, you guys can go around and listen to it like no matter what. So, uh, so, so, so I hope everybody is having a great day. Please be sure to follow my travel tips whenever you guys go 
go this year to the Indiana State Fair from like the stuff that I learned from it. So I hope everybody has a great day. I will see you guys back here tomorrow. Tomorrow's video is talking about if you guys are planning to go to Holy World and Splashing Safari this year. Have a great day, YouTube. I will see you guys back here tomorrow.